everybody, welcome back to the feature crew. Uh, today we have a confusing release from Claude, a 3.7 Sonnet, a name that I think must be a joke, has been released. And it's both reasoning and non-reasoning model. We're, uh, we, we know Claude has historically been a great coder, and so we're excited to see what Anthropic was able to do. Yeah, let's dig in. Awesome, so here we are. So we're looking at Claude 3.7. If you've watched the channel in the past, you know we like to run this test where we have it generate a procedurally generated planet with the goal of trying to understand like how much nuance does it pack in? Does it include the atmosphere? Does it include clouds? As we've tested it in the past, models have grabbed parts of it, various chunks of it, had increasing amounts of success, but I don't think anybody's ever just completely nailed it. O3 mini high, I think, is the high watermark currently, but excited to see what, uh, what Claude does here. Let's give it a shot. I mean, I like this new UI. It's not really new per se, but it's... Did they do side by side before? Yeah, I think Canvas has always had the stream in. Okay, it's just been a minute since we tested Claude. Got it. Oh. Holy cow! Wow, look at that. Oh, that's a. We might have atmosphere too. We got cloud. It has clouds. It certainly has clouds that are rendering correctly above everything. Also, the visual artifacting we usually get, not happening. From we'll, you know, uh, we'll have to we'll have to wait for our like direct comparison video. But this is like definitely O3 mini tier. Yeah, the absolutely. Atmosphere is cool. You know. Also, it's just a water. better seed of the planet. It's like, it looks planet -y right off the bat. I can change the terrain scale. That's great. Oh, wow. All right, it's cool that it's stayed kind of coherent, right? Like, it's picked, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if this is just luck, but it's picked good values on the on the various sliders. Sometimes we see models implement, like, do a decent implementation, but not pick good values. Wish I could change the atmosphere now that these mountains are getting so massive. Let's do it. Let's do another turn. So... Given how good the non-reasoning mode is, we're super excited to see how the reasoning mode performs. So we're going to go ahead and try that out on the right side. I don't know if it thought for very long. No, definitely didn't think for very long. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, well, this is going to be fun to compare. Okay, reasoning mode not as good. Well, the interesting thing is... Didn't even give us the same amount of controls yeah you know i just don't want to like ju yeah okay because it's, it's just like way uglier visually just because i had the same immediate reaction of like wow but now what like i would the say controls on the terrain we don't get a scale we don't get a height yeah this looks like different colors under the water maybe no it, it, it was pretty disappointing and i mean especially just because we know what it can do on the left like and you're looking at it right now uh we know it can do better so we're gonna give it another try take it from the top this seems better yeah i think it's already thinking for longer than it did last time my god day night cycle interesting this is this is pretty good. Is it actually doing oh, a day night wait, cycle? Wait, 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 wait! Look at the atmosphere. Is that? It looked like it was doing a like a rally scattering thing, where it was like getting red near this like the sunset. But I don't know how to get. Wait, wait, yeah. Look at the left side of the screen. Do you yeah, see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it definitely is. How is yeah. it doing that? Oh no, that's kind of wild. Although it's on both sides right now, though. Well, eventually, the sun you... behind us. Yeah, I was gonna behind say behind us or on the other side. Kind of cool how it did coloring of the of the the blue, like the shading of the blue. Although I don't, I don't think there's actually water. Like we wanted real water, right? Right. I mean, I was still gonna give it to normal mode, surprisingly, but this one kind of feels like it's hitting the limit of the HTML file. And it had bigger ideas than the the boundaries we gave it. If I'm being generous, I think the atmosphere is taking up. This atmosphere is by far the most impressive we've seen. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the atmosphere is very cool. So I think I'm, I'm imagining that's a lot of the file we could kind of dig. Again, we'll open source these as always, so you can you know you can dig into the file and see what it did. So should we give it some feedback and have them do another turn? Yeah, I think let's do another turn, see where it's going. Okay, so we got some feedback typed out. We're asking for both sides to fix the water, give us some waves. We want a re really detailed water layer. Then we're also asking both sides to make the terrain more detailed and give us some cool uh, biome and geological features. And then on the right, we were also specifically asking for more controls. Yeah, the same controls that 3.7, just standard, gave it. And they're off. Okay, so that one only thought for three seconds. It's interesting. Didn't have to think much. Is it reviewing its work, though? Like, look at the version count. I, yeah, I know. I'm very confused. Also, why do we have three? Well, what is going on? Uh, we might see a live break of Claude, the feature crew. But it's happening on both sides. Wait, should we check what's going on in the chat? Yeah. No, it's not saying anything. It's just, it won't, it won't even let me return to the previous version. What is happening? Yeah, I just let it think, see what happens. We might have broke it. We're on version 7 on the right. It's weird because every time it loads, like, some, some something. It's different like, every time so far, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, is there, some, is there a chance that it's realized it's a hard task and it's, like, doing a bunch of... Is it checking its work? That's the question I'm, I'm asking myself right now. Okay, so it aired out on the left. We've reached the end of 3.7's ability. Oh, maybe not. 
Still thinking. Plot hit the max length for meshes as paused response. You can write continue. I'll write continue. But now that version counts at seven. Did it merge them because it named them the same thing? It's it's still going on the right. Can you close the window on the right and just see, like, is it outputting any sort of chain of thought? Making edits, it says. I am caught. And look. I mean, I don't know if you saw it flash. The last time it flashed, there was a planet there. So this is, I'm just confused. Now the it's versions going... are syncing up, though. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> well, I mean, we just might have... Oh, 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 there you go. Oh, oh. It's deleting code, adding code. It would be insane if somehow after on version 12... The, the, but there's a planet again. I'm just so curious. Okay, so it thinks it's done on the right. Yes? No? Can we see the output on the wait, right? It did everything, I think. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Uh, so first, let's just see what it said. New craters, craters, canyons, volcanoes, mesas, mountain ridges. Proof biomes, 12 distinct biome types. Water system. Subsurface scattering. Big if true. Okay. Let, let's let um let's see. Okay. It's, for, for the first thing I note is that the way, the, it seems like the way they've mapped to the sphere is not very creative and it Leads to artifacts at the poles. Not loving that. I do see biomes. Oh, we got waves. The coasts. Yeah. We got waves. It's a little unfortunate to see them like coloring the seafloor blue and then it not lining up with the actual ocean. But uh, impressive to see they got the clouds in there. And it seems the atmosphere is still working, which is awesome to see. Um, do all oh, the controls out, work? If I zoom out, you can really kind of see the... The atmosphere again. This is the mo I want to give it credit. Credit where credit is due. This is the most impressive atmosphere we've ever seen. It's another level from anything uh, so far. Can we and check that the controls work? Oh, oh yeah, it's just slow. Oh, just slow. Okay, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, we've got hey, yeah, that worked. Hey, the water level's deep now. And you know, actually, to give it again credit where credit is due, I'm seeing some semblance of interesting terrain features. Oh, okay, you can see kind of where you're getting these like mountains and then flatter regions, right? Yep. Um, and then different kind of different tiers of terrain height. I, I'm imagining it's implementing, yep, flat here, f like cliffs here. I'm imagining it's implementing something like what Minecraft has, loving the singularity at the poles. A good tip for viewers is we did find it ran really slow in the free viewer that's included with Claude. So maybe run it, run it separately if you really want to have it go quickly. I'm kind of prepared to give it the crown. Like, I don't know that I would say, man, 03 mini high was better. No, I mean, I don't I don't think so. I, I want to put them head to head and really kind of give them the 100%. same bombs and push them, see how far they can get. But no, this is this is awesome so far. I, to recap for viewers, 3.7 aired out. So it, it couldn't handle the follow on prompt, but the, ex, the extended thinking mode could. And uh, this is pretty amazing. And now we're going to go take it to the next little, the clouds. Look at that. Cloud coverage? Yeah. I mean, this is fantastic. This is really good. This is pretty awesome. So now we take it to the ultimate extent. We expect a failure here. We don't expect any model to succeed at this, but man, if it does, uh, we're going to ask it to let us walk around the train in first person. And giving us, giving the camera is not that big of a challenge, but usually when we do this, we ask for things that will, you know, that would be interesting to see in first person. I, we're kind of expecting a failure here, but we're asking it to not only give us a first person player controller with gravity and, and the like, but I, I implied that we need an inventory. I said to collect. So we'll see if it can implement collection as well. We've seen that in the past, but uh, this file's getting really big here. I don't know what's going on. Like, you could communicate this so much better. I think they expect you to close it. <laughs> yeah, well, but even then, it, I guess, so then it just says making edits for a long time. But w th there's more you could do than a spinner in making edits. Yeah, I mean, I'm not... We, we'll run other tests to see how it handles, but it seems like it's not outputting chain of thought. At all. At all. And that might be because something agentic's happening. Like, it's, didn't Anthropic say they have something in private test right now that is more agentic? Yeah, like a coding thing, right? So I'm wondering if part of hiding the chain of thought is that you're going to spill the spill the beans on on that agentic product. I don't know if you noticed, but oh, I, I I had just tried to change the the version and it broke that web page. I'll make a prediction that they're about to do a UI overhaul with the agentic product. And so you're seeing like a bunch of their patterns break and hit walls here. Yeah, the, fact, like, the double spinner is just it's very weird. Yeah, 100%. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what version are we at? What what's your bet on version number? Or are we at twelve? I think we I think we started at twelve or fourteen or something. Sixteen. Version sixteen. Twenty six. <laughs> Claude is just chugging away. Having the confidence here. I'm like I'm getting excited to see what this is gonna show. I mean, this is this has been impressive. Wait, you know, when it when it does things like this for a long time and then works, it's like 
it gets a lot of leeway in the future. Yeah, to its credit, this is a wickedly long file. We were on version 28. It's kind of amazing that it's just like continuing to, I mean, it, it must be, there's no way it's spitting out this file over and over again, right? Like, do we No, think no, it, no way. It's like writing to, well, maybe it is actually. No, this is actually a pretty normal length for this kind. I mean, it's long, but it's not out of the realm of possibility that it's just spitting this out over. And the, the the weird thing about comparing this to the other models and is just that like if we if it really is doing 30 calls, like it's just not a fair comparison to what we've done in the past, right? Right, but it means we're we've changed the the board game has changed. It's more of like a an agent thing, right? Definitely smells agentic. Just exciting as all hell. Like that's great. That's fantastic. I love that it's doing the versions. I'm surprised. It means I don't think the rollout was very good because I'm getting a much more sophisticated product than I thought I was getting when I rolled into this review. I wish there was some sort of chain of thought, you know? I might think it's done. Okay, yeah. I think that's it. We'll call it. Yeah. We tried really hard. We're gonna, Yeah, we're going to have to call it there. I mean, like, we gave it a really hard prompt. We let it work for a really long time. I think it went through 39 versions, but it couldn't quite get there. It seems like it seems like there's some sort of agentic process going on here where it's seeing the errors and then trying again. It's hard to know what it's going to happen. It kills the page. Maybe the UI doesn't really support yet the features that they're adding from the like API side or something. It's interesting. We'll keep an eye on this. But overall, really impressive performance. I would love to pull back up the previous version, but I think uh, it might be a little too hard. I will say based on its response, this yeah. is currently the front runner, at least for this challenge, in my opinion. I'm not entirely unconvinced that if we gave it different parameters, like we didn't force it into a single HTML file, if we gave it a proper project, that it couldn't do it. Like that, the the coding ability is really impressive here. Yeah, really impressive. Yeah, so to bring it back, like I mean, the the atmosphere for me is the part that's really really impressive, and sort of the detail that it was able to put in the terrain gen here. Like, yeah, absolutely. I think on those two, we've seen similar quality terrain gen. The atmosphere. And the clouds and the water all being there together. And I mean, the atmosphere is really the thing that we just haven't seen before uh, to this level. You let us know in the comments, but this might mean that our tests need to get more sophisticated. Like we we may need to do proper projects and see see what it can do. So given how well it's done on the planet challenge, the other challenge we wanted to throw at it in sort of this first look is our maze challenge. And that's going to challenge its ability to reason through this maze and get to a solution. Our tool will show the optimal solution. And so the challenge is, A, can it get to the solution without breaking any rules, like cr growing through walls or uh, not finding the uh, the uh, goal? But then secondly, can it find an optimal path? So if it manages to find a path through the maze, it's great. If it manages to find the optimal path, it's even better. We're going to start with a maze size of six, which is sort of the grid we lay out, and see how the two models do. You'd expect the extended thinking mode to do better, uh, but let's find out. So the non-thinking model is done. The response is almost terrible. immediate. Yeah, the response was almost immediate. It didn't seem to really reason through its step very often, but hey, maybe it's super intelligent. Let's see how well it did. Ugh. Sort of as expected. Yeah, this this is our hard job. We haven't seen a non-reasoning model do really well on this, uh, and so not the most surprising, but it was very confident. Yeah, came out cocky, but uh, that's going to be a fail. So now we'll focus our attention on the extended thinking mode and see... See how Claude's reasoning stacks up here. It's still thinking. Hey. I hope it crushes this so we can throw like a 12 grid out. Just something crazy. Be like, solve this. Okay, it's off for two and a half minutes. There is? Okay, so there, you, you can see. I guess th maybe there was a way to see it while it streamed in. I just didn't click it, but you can see the chain of thought in here. So we can grab this and uh, check out how it did. I think that's the same though. Ooh. Yeah. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Well, that's not great. Um. Yeah, so I mean, we usually do this test as a... I mean, this is still a pretty new test, but we do it as an agentic reasoning test. And the reason we think this is agentic in nature is because the model needs to understand a, sort of a world with rules and some representation of that world. Because until we have like a sort of generic world model, we need to come up with abstract representations of the world for the model to interact with. So it's very important that the model can understand these things and work within them in an abstract sense. So to see this fail is a little concerning. And it's also just interesting given how how well it did in the coding challenge. I'm tempted to give extended thinking one more shot at this. See yeah. if maybe something went wrong. Yeah, we let's generate a new maze. Perfect. All right, we got an answer. All right, let's give it a shot. See how well it did. Okay, so that's that's another failure. 
Yeah. Okay, so we are not at a O3 mini high level. I think we can definitively say that, at least on these sorts of problems. I think what we're really excited to do, at least for me, I'm excited to put them head to head in coding. It, it seems like a Claude might have an edge here, but I really want I really want to test them on the same prompt in the same scenario. And then, you know, I also want to run our business reasoning. Um, we're basically so. tired today, so bear with us. Uh, we'll get to that in the comparison video. But uh, what did you think overall, Chris? Overall, I was super impressed with the coding. A little let down with the maze. I thought we were going to get through it. I thought I was going to be able to throw a more complicated maze at it. But um, I would definitely, if you're someone who's using cursor, if you're someone who's using AI to code a lot, I would give this model a shot. It seems like it's really got good coding chops, and we'll dig in more in the next video. But want to get a first look out to you all right away. So thank you all so much. And please like and subscribe. Give us comments. We use reader comments all the time for new test ideas. So we read everyone. And thanks to everybody. Thanks for watching, everyone. 